Science 4. The Bones. Objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to Describe the functions of bones. Identify the major bones in the human body. Enumerate the different diseases that affect bones. Explain the causes and treatment of these bone diseases, and Enumerate ways on how to keep the bones healthy. Look at the picture. What do you observe? The first step in building a house is to make a framework. Construction workers need to put up the framework for the house they are building. Why do you think they need to put up first the framework for the house they are building? Yes, without the framework, the house will collapse. In your body, which part serves as the framework? Very good, it is your bones. The bones are hard, white tissues that form the skeleton. They are made up mostly of collagen, proteins, minerals, and vitamins deposited among a network of organic fibers. Their hardness and flexibility make them an ideal structural material. They provide support to the body and protect other major internal organs. They also serve as levers for muscles which enable you to move. You are born with around 300 soft bones. As you grow older, some of these bones fuse together so that by the time you are adult, you would have around 206 bones. Each bone is made up of four main layers. The outer layer which is called periosteum contains nerves and blood vessels that bring food for the bone. The next layer is called the compact bone. It is very hard but has a smooth texture. Next to it is the cancellous bone which looks spongy but is actually very strong. The innermost layer is the marrow, which is responsible for making new blood cells for the body. There are two types of bone marrow. The red bone marrow is involved in production of blood cells. The while yellow bone marrow is important for storing fats. Do you think our bones are important? Definitely, yes. The bones serve as the supporting framework of your body. You can feel them in your face, jaw, and limbs. They help you stand and walk steadily. The spine is found at the center of your back. It protects the spinal cord and allows you to twist and bend. The pelvis has a group of bones that supports your spine. The thigh bone or femur is a large upper leg bone that connects to lower leg bones to your pelvic bone. It is the longest bone in your body which allows your legs to move. The skull protects your brain while the rest of the bones on your face protect your eyes, nose, mouth, and ears. The rib cage protects your heart and lungs. How do bones hold together? Ligaments connect the ends of bones together in order to form a joint. Some bones in your body are connected at your joints, or parts of your body where two bones are joined or linked, such as in the shoulders, hands, hips, and knees. Joints enable you to bend your arms, legs, and other parts of your body. A tendon is a tough, flexible band of fibrous connective tissue that connects the muscles to the bones. Bones help you move and do different activities. However, although they are very strong, there are some diseases that can affect your bones. These are osteoporosis, rickets, and arthritis. Osteoporosis is the slow but steady loss of minerals that make up bone fibers. Rickets is a bone disease that usually affects children who lack vitamin D. Arthritis is a disease that is characterized by inflammation of the joints. What should you do to take care of your bones? The following pointers may help you remember how to take care for your bones. Eat food rich in vitamin D and calcium to aid in the formation of strong bones. 
Maintain good posture. Try not to keep your head tilted to one side or bent forward as this could cause a strain on your neck muscles. Wear a helmet to protect your head from injury or wear the right protective gear when playing rough games and sports. Avoid carrying heavy loads. Visit the orthopedic doctor for any bone problems. An orthopedic doctor is a medical professional who focuses on caring for your bones, joints, ligaments, nerves, and tendons. Take the challenge. Identify what is being asked. 1. What bone protects your brain? 2. What mineral is good for your bones? 3. Where are red blood cells produced? Red bone marrow 4. What connects the muscles to the bones? Tendon. 5. What disease is characterized by inflammation of the joints? Arthritis.